This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an inventory valuation detailed report. Now, in Lesson 8-13, I showed you how to create an inventory valuation summary report. The difference between the two reports is that one summarizes your inventory valuation and the other one is more detailed and you can add or remove various fields in the detailed report. Now the purpose for running an inventory valuation report is to show you information about the quantity and value of the inventory that your company owns. So let's create the inventory valuation detail report. Click on the reports menu, go down to inventory, then select inventory valuation detail. Now here is the default configuration for the inventory valuation detail report. Now when you run the report, the default date is going to be the current month that you are in. If you need to change the dates, you can do so by clicking on the date icon in the from and to date fields and selecting any particular date that you need to select. Now most of these fields are self-explanatory such as the type, date, name, the quantity on hand. Now if you want to add or remove any columns, click the customize report button on the top left. And in the columns section, if you want to remove any columns, you can deselect it by removing the check mark next to the column name. So if I want to remove date, I'm going to click date to remove the check mark. If you want to add an additional column, scroll down until you see the column that you want to be added to the report. In this example, I'm going to select amount by placing a check mark next to it. And when you're done, you can click OK. Now my amount column has been added and the date column has been removed. You can also filter the report as needed. Click on Customize Report once again and then click the Filters tab. Now I want to filter out everything except pink roses. So in the filter section, I'm going to click Item and from the drop down menu in the middle, I'm going to select pink roses from this list and then click OK. Now as you may have noticed, all of the items are still on the list, however, the value of those items have been removed. Only the value of the item that I selected, which was Pink Roses, remains. Now that's how you create an inventory valuation detail report. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.